Serge Boutens is a fragrance house that is sort of hyped in the fragrance community. I mean, there are a few of their fragrances that keep coming up, and those happen to be Chergui and, of course, Ombre Sultan. But did you know the fragrance house has so many other great offerings, such as Claire de Musk? Well, in this Safra Bond review video, I'll review Claire de Musk, and you're also going to have a chance at winning a 50 ml bottle of Claire de Musk if you are a subscriber of this channel from the USA, thanks to the lovely folks at ZGO Perfumery. So if you want to find out about Claire de Musk, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, revisiting the old classics, and of course, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, Serge Lutens has a huge catalog of awesome fragrances, but usually people talk about Chergui or Ombre Sultan and a few others. But Claire de Musk is one that's also definitely one worth mentioning. So I specifically requested this fragrance from ZGO Perfumery. It was sent to me for this review, but the opinion's all my own. If you end up being the winner for this giveaway, you're also going to end up with a 50 ml model like I did here. So Claire de Musk was launched in 2003. Claire de Musk basically translates to Musk Light. The perfumer here is Christopher Sheldrake. Of course, he's done so many of the fragrances from Serge Lutens and the two that I mentioned, Chergui and Ambre Sultan are also created by Christopher Sheldrake. The concentration here is EDP and of course a 100 ml bottle of Claire de Musk retails for $230 and a 50 ml like this one retails for $150 and I'll have a link to ZGO Perfumery below. You can click that and head over there and discover Claire de Musk and of course the uh, entire Serge Lutens collection at the ZGO Perfumery. So what do we have for notes here? We have at the top Bergamot neroli petals. In the heart we've got Tuscan iris, jasmine, and rose. In the base notes you've got musk and sandalwood. Very straightforward and the reason I'm reviewing this one for you today is it's very, very appropriate for the coming warm season, the summer months, as I find clean fragrances to be very, very perfect for warmer days. Uh, this is a clean musk. It's not an animalic musk where I don't recommend too many people to wear animalic musks in the uh, warmer days and summer months because of the, how strong it can get. So what happens with Claire de Musk is at the top you've got that bergamot and neroli petals. It's kind of a beautiful citric start. You still have the floral qualities and the floral floral nuances of the neroli petals with that beautiful juicy bergamot. It's quite short-lived because what's happening is the neroli petals uh, transition to the beautiful iris and of course the jasmine and then rose. For me at the heart it's mostly about the iris and jasmine. The rose is very very faint if there at all. You can pick up minute little um, nuances of it but mostly it's about iris and jasmine and the iris gives this fragrance a very powerful powdery quality. So this is definitely powdery, although it's not overwhelmingly big and strong and doesn't project much, but still you can experience the powdery quality here. But the beautiful dry down of this fragrance is where it's all at. It's all about the musk and sandalwood. So the musk is this beautiful, clean, light musk with that beautiful, creamy, soft, gentle sandalwood in the base. Gorgeous, really, really gorgeous quality um, musk here. And as I was saying, this is perfect for the warmer months. This is a very, very personal fragrance. This is perfect for the person that doesn't want their fra fragrances to speak for them. This is more of a behind the scenes fragrance. It's perfect for work settings, I think, because it's very, very close to the skin and it's very, very personal. Somebody has to get really close to you to smell you. It does project faintly, but it's mostly a skin scent and this is a perfect, perfect cozy wearing experience. I like this fragrance for when I don't want loud. I like this fragrance when I want something soft and just for me. I like this fragrance when I know people around me are not really uh, into the fragrances and are very, very sensitive to the fragrances. This is the kind of fragrance I would wear. It's very, very soft. It's quiet. It's toned down. Everything has been subdued, perhaps muted so that nothing jumps out. The notes jump don't jump out. The fragrance doesn't jump out. It's all 
your own personal experience. Just a really, really lovely fragrance. That's why I think this is perfect for the warmer months because it's not going to be projecting at all. It's just gonna be really, really close to the skin. It's a beautiful fragrance. You must check it out. I love musks, you know that about me. And I like an animalic, and of course I like a very, very clean here as well. And this is a perfect example of a very, very clean musk. If you don't live close to ZGO Perfumery here in San Francisco or close to a store that has Serge Luten's fragrances, click the link to South Bond in the info box, head over there and find out how you can participate to win a full bottle of Claire de Musk. Then please come back here and let me know what your thoughts are on Claire de Musk. Have you tried it? Are you a fan of musk fragrances? Are you a fan of Serge Luten's fragrances? Please do let me know if you have any of the fragrances from this house or this fragrance so that I, I can find out. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.